Crafty Gemini. I post weekly crafting, cooking, and organic gardening videos right here on my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how my first ever duct tape dress form turned out, and I'm giving away a few pairs of really cool scissors. If you've been trying to sew your own clothes for some time, you've probably already looked into either getting an adjustable dress form that's on the market, you know, they sell tons of different sizes and brands of these like this, or maybe you've looked at a DIY tutorial on how to make your own using duct tape or the brown tape. There's tons of different tutorials out there, and I'll include some links underneath this video in the description box, and I'll include links to both where you can purchase some adjustable ones if you're interested, or where you can learn how to make your own duct tape one. So this is not a tutorial by any means because this was my first time working on something like this. And let's talk a little bit about this. So the first thing is that you basically will put on a tight fitting shirt, something with a little bit of sleeve so that the tape doesn't go on your arm. You can wear a bra, obviously try to wear the bra that you're gonna use with the type of garments that you're wearing. So something, don't use something like a sports bra. Use like a real bra, something that gives you, you know, some shape to your bust. This is what we ended up with, okay? I'm gonna tell you a few things that I'm gonna do differently next time I make one because I wanna make one that's a lot better and more precise and things like that. But I will tell you that even though as crappy as this one looks, when I take the bust, waist, and hip measurements, it measures exactly what my body measures. So obviously it can't be that bad because it did the, the proper measurements, right? Here we have the bust. I just went ahead and put a ribbon. In the tutorial that I followed, they have you bend over when you have the tape on you. And so right where the bend is, that's where you mark your waistline. And so we just went with a Sharpie marker and marked it here. So I went ahead and put a ribbon right there. If you're gonna give one of these DIY dress forms a try, I'm gonna share with you a few tips and things to keep in mind when you're making it based on my experience on working on this one. So the first thing would be, don't be discouraged by the way it looks. Take your own proper measurements and see if it matches up. If it's the same, then why not? You know, even though it looks like that, you may even wanna go ahead and cover it up with some fabric, take some of those decorative duct tapes and maybe use that to give it a nicer or cuter feel, whatever you wanna do. My second tip would be to make sure that you stuff this thing solid, okay? I didn't have enough newspaper, so it's still, you see, I can like, so that's not cool, right? So you want to make sure that you're stuffing it as much as you can to get the proper measurements in all the areas and don't have like pockets of air like that. So definitely you want to stuff it all the way. The third thing would be figure out what you're going to do for the bottom. If you're just using it for shirts and tanks and things like that, then feel free to just put that cardboard underneath and seal it off like that. If you do want to make skirts and dresses and pants, figure out or find a proper tutorial on how to put this up on one of those old mic stands. So just, you know, practice it, or you may want to do what I did and buy some really cheap duct tape and just give it a try once and then kind of learn from your mistakes like I'm doing and then the next time you go to do it, you'll have a better outcome or a better finish. And they're really inexpensive to put together. And then based on the tutorial, you know, my mom went ahead and started putting the duct tape everywhere. Well, we started to struggle really badly cutting the duct tape because um, I just bought some cheap duct tape roll. This big one cost me like, I think $3. It was really cheap, but since this was my first try, I really didn't want to spend too much money on it. We start using regular scissors to cut the duct tape and it gets stuck to it and you're having problems. It's gumming up the scissors. You see, like it gets all stuck everywhere until I realized that I had a really cool pair of scissors in my stash and they're nonstick. They're these Westcott scissors and I looked at the scissors and it says nonstick and I'm like, hello, this is exactly what we need to be using. And so I'll show you how it just cuts right through. Even when I stick the tape to the scissors, it doesn't really stick to it. So then, once we started using these, my mom was able to start cutting the tape a lot quicker and easier. And so I thought, well, you know what? I need to make a video and make sure that I tell my fans about these scissors so it will save you guys some headaches when you're working on a project like this. And so on the package, it says that tape and glue won't stick. And thanks to our friends at Westcott, I'm actually gonna be giving away three pairs of scissors. One is gonna be this big eight inch one, and then the other two are the same type of scissors. They're titanium bonded nonstick, but they're five inch micro tip scissors, and they work great, you know, both on fabric projects and paper or scrapbooking projects. And so three of you lucky winners are gonna win a pair of these nonstick Westcott scissors. To enter for your chance to win some really cool pair of nonstick scissors like mine, all you need to do is click the subscribe button right there if you're not already a subscriber to my channel. And then also go ahead and leave me a comment underneath this video here on YouTube telling me what type of sticky craft projects you work on that you think these scissors will really help you with. This giveaway is open to all my worldwide viewers. A big thanks to Westcott for hosting the giveaway and good luck to everyone entering.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.